Eric, thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. A lot of lovely people out there. We appreciate you taking the time on this beautiful summer weekend to join us. Occasion for some very special people and some special teams. As Eric indicated, I'm Chris Graham. I'm the commissioner of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. I joined the league in December of 2013. This is my second RMAC Hall of Fame that I've had the opportunity to speak at. And uh, from my previous Division Three opportunity in the Midwest Conference, we didn't have this type of event. And so it really is something special that I look forward to now every year. And I want to recognize Joel Smith, my predecessor, who was the commissioner of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference for many years, who put this together and has done a fantastic job at it. So Joel, thank you very much. Congratulations to the inductees, the individuals and the teams who are going to be honored here tonight. It is a, a really tremendous honor that we can bestow upon you as administrators. There's tens of thousands of student, of student athletes that have competed in this historic league over 100 plus years. And to have you here this evening to recognize you among all of those athletes is really a special event. It's a rare award that few achieve at the highest level of Division II collegiate athletics. We look forward to great anticipation every single year to recognize you. This opportunity is one of a kind for us as administrators who are dealing with these things and our student athletes on a daily basis to come to the pinnacle of careers. You are forever Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our coaches who are here receiving awards, administrators, and athletes who are being honored tonight. I would like to specially recognize two first-time awards, the inaugural awards, for our Faculty Athletic Representative of the Year and our Woman of the Year. These are two tremendously special honors that we can provide and recognize for these individuals and especially on the Faculty Athletic Representative Award, our, direct, or our assistant commissioner, just named assistant commissioner, Kirsten Ford, who was a part of Division II Student Athlete Advisory Committee, was responsible for creating the National Faculty Mentor Award. And so to be able to bring that to the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference is not just special for our administrators and our faculty, for, but for the conference office and Kirsten, Pierce, uh, Kirsten personally. And our Woman of the Year, it's an NCAA honor. All of the honorees have been announced. I believe there was a record number of 143 conference honorees, and we have that special honoree here tonight. I'd also like to welcome our previous inductees who are here with us in various capacities. Amy Giblin, an Adams State University runner who is a part of an, a team that's being inducted. She is a previous inductee and a current Hall of Fame member. Amy Miller Brammer, a Colorado Mesa University volleyball inductee, a current Hall of Famer. Chuck Pfeiffer, who I believe was a wrestler at Colorado State University Pueblo, but is now the coach at Colorado Mesa, and I believe he's also being honored here tonight as Coach of the Year. A current RMAC Hall of Fame member. And Marv K, a player, coach, and director of athletics, formerly at Colorado School of Mines a Hall of Fame inductee, and Marv has pretty much done it all, and I suspect, I don't want to speak for Marv, but one of the greatest honors that anyone could ever receive that he'll be getting this fall that deserves mention here tonight will be to have a stadium named after him, Marv K Stadium, on the campus of Colorado School of Mines that's just completing construction, and it'll be unveiled in early September at their first home football game. So. Along with that wonderful announcement with Marv, let's welcome and congratulate again all of the current Hall of Famers that are here with us tonight. <laughs> Finally, we have two national champion presidents. You may not know that's an actual title that we can give to presidents, national championship presidents. Our first is Dr. Beverly McClure, she just joined us at Adams State University 
We are delighted to have her. She is now a part of our President's Council. Uh, Dr. McClure has inherited what I'm just going to guess will take full responsibility for a men's cross country championship and a men's indoor track championship at Adams State University. So we're gonna give her the distinction of a national championship president. And we also have Dr. Leslie DeMar, the president at Colorado State University Pueblo, who won a division two national football championship this year. That is the first RMAC football national championship in our history. So would you please join me in congratulating and welcoming our two presidents. I could give you a State of the Union address, but this isn't the place to do it, but just give me an opportunity to speak for a minute on some accomplishments in the RMAC this year. I'm going to call it our RMAC summary. We added a 16th member institution, Westminster College, who just learned this past week that they have been accepted into Divisional two, Division II provisional membership, and that will allow them to, to participate and count in our conference scheduling this year, 2015 and 16, in the sports that they sponsor. Our 16th member institution is out of Salt Lake City, Utah. They're in the 32nd largest media market. They actually used to be an RMAC member when we were an NAIA league back in, ended in the 1970s, 1980s, as recently as the 1980s, and we're delighted to have them back in the league as our 16th member institution. We added men's lacrosse as our 23rd conference sport. We've had women's lacrosse for two years, and now we've added men's lacrosse. For any of you who have been following the collegiate and amateur landscape of athletics, lacrosse is the fastest growing sport across the entire country. Very popular and, uh, and very well supported among the collegiate ranks, and we're delighted to have it on the men's side now in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. We had three team national championships, and I just mentioned all three of those, Adams State University, men's cross country, men's indoor track and field, and CSU Pueblo football. We have our national championship coach here for men's cross country and the director of track and field, Damon Martin, who is joining his teams who are being inducted this evening. Congratulations, Coach Martin. And finally, we had uh, 11 individual national champions. And we've got a few of those former national champions also here in this crowd, so I think a lot of you can appreciate what it takes to get to that level and accomplish that achievement. We're very proud of those individuals. I would encourage you to take a look at our program that was put together that recognizes and celebrates those achievements of those team and national champions. Finally, real quickly, I'd like to recognize those who have made this evening possible. We have interns and support staff, Dakota Valerio, Alex Evans, Holly Kellner, and Connor Putman our interns in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference, and we have Eric Lansing, who's previously worked with the RMAC and is joining us to run the audio-visual tonight. Would you join me in giving those folks a round of applause for their efforts tonight? And finally, my beloved staff, we have a new Director of Media Relations, Zach Bond, who you see with a camera around his neck, taking pictures for us. Zach comes to us from Texas Lutheran University, a Division III institution. He was a student at University of Northern Colorado and a graduate. He's a native of Colorado. We are very excited to have him back because the kind of things that, we're, that we understand he can do for us and has already done for us in a very short month are going to uh, propel the RMAC to the very top of Division II media relations, social media, and publications. Kirsten Ford is our Director of Compliance. No, she isn't. She's an assistant commissioner because we just gave her that new title. I'm getting used to it. Bear with me for a second. Kirsten Ford is our new assistant commissioner who's been with us for a year and a half. She comes as a Division II student athlete from Emporia State University. She handles compliance and business operations and is one of the finest young administrators in collegiate athletics. And finally, Eric Danner, the associate commissioner who is responsible for this event, has been with the RMAC. He's celebrating 10 years and it kind of slipped a little bit earlier this week, he may know that we've got a little special something for him right now. Along with Joel Smith, former RMAC commissioner, please join us in congratulating Eric on 10 wonderful years. Congratulations, bud. Stinkers. <laughs>